you, Joni. Fantastic to be back here in this wonderful, wonderful sunshine here at Snetterton. And I can tell you, we've got a great prospect ahead of us because the grid forms up for this cycle race based on the result of the race we had yesterday. And there's been a bit of a shuffle back because Scott Laurie, number 72, was docked 10 seconds for passing on the safety car. It was all action yesterday. We had one outfit upside down, so he's relegated to the back of the grid. That's Johan Reuterholt and Aki Alto. James, these sidecars now are getting quicker and quicker and quicker and always a great spectacle. But there we are, the championship, a massive, massive lead already by Roger Lovelock and Rick Lawrence. Ben Holland, Lee Watson there in second. James and Lawson, then Scott Laurie. Steinhausen is here. He had a podium yesterday and he's therefore on the second row. The best of the quick men, I call them quick men, the world championship runners, they're away at the TT, the Birchels. Then it's Reuter Holt there, so he's starting from the back of the grid. Tim Reeves is also in the Isle of Man. John Clark, Stuart Graham retired yesterday with overheating problems. A terrific championship, and it's a strong series, James. Absolutely, and you're, you're talking about uh, how fast these things are, and it's not just how fast they are, but I tell you what, Barry, what shocked me, and I've been, uh, I've passengers one just for a bit of a laugh round uh, Imola once, and it's the amount of grip these things have. It's so much centrifugal force in the corners, you can hardly cling on. These lads are strong lads, these lads on the sidecars. And I tell you what, with the track de temperature approaching 40 degrees, big stiffy Avon, that's the uh, control tyre. There's the grid for you then. Lovelock Lawrence line up alongside Ben Holland, Lee Watson. Then it's Jorg Steinhaus and Gregory Clues and L James Lawson pairing making up row two. Ben Bygrave on the BMW, best result for him. Sixth place, he did really, really well. Fifth place, in actual fact, then Gary Smith and a new passenger, John Allen, they make up row three. Scott Laurie was bumped back because of his 10 second penalty, so he's on row four alongside a very strong performance from Gary Horsepole and Rob Briggs. Actually, Rob Biggs, that should be, but uh, there you go. <laughs> the, Biggs, the Biggs boys from Chester. So, 10 laps, James, 10 yep. laps, that's about 30 miles. It is really, really hot. And I can tell you, down there under the fairing, off the front of the brake, you're going to get something like 250, 300 degrees. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Completely different to a solo where the brakes are out in the fresh air, keeping cool. These have the brakes, obviously on the front wheel as well, but the actual riders inside the bubble with all that heat that's generated, plus the radiator in there as well. It's, uh, yeah, incredibly hot. I can't imagine how hot these things are, have to ride on an air like this. And far from Suzuki dominance, we've got right across the board, we've got Suzuki, Yamaha, BMW, a Honda in there, and a lone Kawasaki. But let's watch what York Steinhauser could do. The Rymore engineering Suzuki on the front row of Ben Holland and Lee Watson, alongside Roger Lovelock and Rick Lawrence. Four wins already. Wait for the lights to go. Who's going to get the drop as they go away off the line the first time towards Riches? Well, Barry James, number three, and Callum Lawson looking good on the inside. Through comes Scott Laurie. Scott Laurie up to second, inside Ben Holland. Fantastic stuff. Scott Laurie is one of those riders who's going to jet straight off to the Isle of Man, doing the TT for the first time. But it's Roger Lovelock, the pole man, takes it, going round into Montreal for the first time. Yep. Everyone through there safely. Breathtaking stuff, and isn't it yeah, colourful? I, I tell you what, it's colourful, it's exciting, but they're a lot more uh, kind of respectful than the solos through the first couple of laps, you know? First couple of corners. I think they're being a bit circumspect because there was a bumping and boring ah, going on okay, yesterday. Okay. So one or two were on their roof yesterday, and let's see if Johan Reuterholt can make it up from the back of the grid. The orange and silver. There it is. There he goes. Well, yep. Well yeah, he's already, yep, he's already mid-pack. What a cracking start he's had. So Reuterholt has got a bit to prove. They were both taken to the medical centre and... Uh, okay. oh, Barry James and Callum Lawson put a back wheel on the dirt there. Almost left the door open for your Steinhaus. Still sliding and Steinhaus is still looking for a way through. Got his... Oh! Goodness me! Unbelievable! What a huge crash! I think they're both all right. Oh, yep, goodness you can see me! Yeah, they tapped each other, just making sure that each of them was all right there. That was a massive crash, James. It was, you know, that was building for a couple of corners there. Steinhausen had a little bit of a look, and th he, that was coming. You could see that for two corners that happening. Unfortunate. Goodness me, head on Somebody into the Somebody else straight on. Somebody else straight on there. Yeah, unbelievable. That looked like the Kawasaki of Mark Edwards. It was green, but that's as much as I know. Again, just like yesterday, all this action on the first lap. Here we are, race leader then, Roger Lovelock and Rick Lawrence with Scott Laurie and James Neve. There's a retirement coming in. 91, yep, that's Liam Abbott and Liam Justin Abbott. Sharp. Yep, son of Steve Abbott. 
Yep. 2002 world champion. Look at this. Scott Laurie wants it now. He's alongside. Bastard. He's got it. Fantastic. What a powerful Suzuki that he's, is. He's on the wrong side. First, Rich is the first corner. He's got it. Terrific stuff. That's a fast outfit, is that? I tell you what, James, I watched a super sport race and I thought they're going to be a hard act to follow, but these boys are giving it yeah, their yeah, best. Yeah, yeah, there's been some really good racing today. Wonderful. Ben Holland, Lee Watson then in third. So we've got a breakaway at the front. Scott Laurie, James Neve, number 72. Then the driver Wolf Suzuki of 49. Roger Lovelock, Rick Lawrence. Let's have a look again at yeah. Steinhausen. Yeah. A massive. I've got to be honest, I think Steinhausen played a big part in that. He did. He almost threw his passenger, yeah. Greg Clues out. Yeah. Greg Clues' leg was in the air. It was a terrific impact. A terrific impact. And the boys went straight on into the safety barrier. Very lucky to be Scott Free. Yep, yep. Talking of Scott Free, this Scott is free at the front. And Scott Laurie. Do you know what I couldn't believe when I, as, as, as I say, I got a ride and one round Imola? It, the, the passenger's doing just a lot more than stopping the sidecar wheel, tipping up and moving from side to side. He's got to get all his weight over the driving wheel, otherwise it doesn't get any grip, it just spins out the corners. Lots and lots that they do. And they also get it to steer as well. Hand in the air for 44. That's Roger Body and Carl Schofield out of the running. Roger Body, the serious promoter. Coming nice out of retirement. Yeah, nice leathers. Union Jack on the back. It's Jubilee year, why yep, not? Yep. Very patriotic. Scott Laurie, James Neve leading. Let me tell you, the lap record round here held by the Birchalls, 156.164. What have we got so far? One got two or three. So we're a way a outside way. that. But I can tell you, Roger Lovelock did a 157 yesterday. He was just half a second off the lap record. So there's plenty of life left in the old dog yet. That's a nice looking outfit, the BMW of Steinhausen. Yeah, son of uh, Rolf Steinhausen, of course, yep. double world champion. York Steinhausen and Gregory Clues. And you, you do get a lot of that, you know, and it's a fast bike up the straight. It is quick. BMW, of course. Good to see BMW running so strongly. The second BMW, Ben Bygrave and Paul Napton, they're in fifth. They're only five and a half seconds adrift off this leading bunch. Yeah. All, these, uh, all these outfits running uh, four-cylinder uh, across the frame, underneath uh, all the bodywork there, behind the driver, the engine sits. Uh, all running one litre sports bike engines on about 200 brake horsepower. So these are potent machines, Barry. Yeah, in 220 kilograms all up weight. Yeah. So it's the power to weight ratio. Plus, as you said, James, those great big grippy tyres making them corner so fast. Look at Roger Lovelock having a look on the inside. No, but Scott Laurie just closes the door. Roger Lovelock on the Two Wheels TV sponsored, along with Driver Wolf, his team. They are so good. Four wins already went in there a bit hot. He did go in <laughs> hot. York Steinhausen up to third. He's put Ben Holland and Lee Watson down now into fourth. So already on a podium place from the second row, I don't know whether there'll be any pro to look at that, the waving on from Callum Lawson. Yeah, I think no, I, I think he wasn't waving on. I think he was uh, remonstrating at uh, Steinhausen there for running him off the track. That's what he seemed to be saying. You wouldn't want to read his lips there, Barry, I'll tell you. Well, well I'll tell you what, James, after this is over, I'm going to jump in my car and clear off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go in the paddock and talk to these boys. And I'll tell you what, some of these sidecar lads, I don't want to say rough, but they're all kind of working men with big hands, and, and <laughs> you, you can tell that most of them are not bothered about a bit of a fracas, I'll tell you. <laughs> <The one. laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the one person who'll take exception to that is, is the lady who's riding out there today as passenger, but... we oh, but she can fight as well. Shirley Smith is out there with Ian Drown, and they're in a one-point place, so they're not doing too badly in 15th place. Our top four, then, number 49, Roger Lovelock and Rick Lawrence. Then it's Scott Laurie and James Neve. Isle of Man bound immediately after this race for their debut in the TT on, of course, the 600. Yeah, and 72 there, uh, Laurie and Neve just seem to have a slightly quicker outfit than uh, the leaders Lovelock and Lawrence there. They're using all the track, I'll tell you that. But, so. but, both Suzuki engine. Both Suzuki engine, yep. then the BMW following, then the Rymore Engineering Suzuki of Ben Holland in fourth place. It's That'll weird. Add to his. And this has always been a case, you know, that, uh, that you put an engine in a sidecar outfit and it, it, it's different. Uh, qualities that you need, you need a little bit more torque, you're pulling a little bit more weight with two riders and you know, it's not particularly the, the, the most powerful uh, standard street bike, because that is definitely these days the BM and the Kawasaki, and it's a Suzuki that seems the engine of choice in this class. 
Well, all sorts of other play figures come into play, play yeah. in terms of the inertia. You've got to get the oiling yeah, right. Yeah. So, some of them run a dry sump, as you know. Yeah. So, um, and that can I explain that? Yeah, because what, what all engines, most engines now are, are uh, injected when they ran carburetors. You couldn't run solo carburetors because you can imagine the engine and carburetors always stay in perfect balance on a solo because a bike leans over. But on these, it's all side push, and you found that the carburetors didn't work. These are all injections, but it's the oil systems that are the major thing now on them. Let's see how quick that BMW is. Down fast. the straight then, fast. Down, heading down towards Brundle. That's it's how quick very, it is. very fast yep. indeed. Through the chicane they go. Nelson, the right-hander, then heading off towards the bomb hole. The BMW really, really on the case of Roger Lovelock and Rick Lawrence. Rick Lawrence's leathers are way baggy. There's five mile an hour just if he got them tucked in. Up to second place, York Steinhausen, having passed Scott Laurie and James Neve. So Laurie on 47 points currently in the championship, but. Roger Lovelock way, way in the lead on 111, and he's looking very strong here. There's your top three, Scott Laurie, James Neve. Lovelock it is again, being dropped off the back now, three seconds adrift uh, is Ben Holland with Lee Watson. Then we've got Ben Bygrave, who is still very close. Most of these uh, outfits running LCR, Louis Christian Racing uh, chassis, built in Switzerland. Yeah, Arrow dieted and pop rivets together. That's it. Yeah, they, well, it, it's not. Yeah, yeah. He won't. He will never tell you that it's bonded or what they call. Yeah, they call it bonded, don't they? Well, there's a new product on the market called Gorilla Glue. I bet that would do. <laughs> it? Stick one of these together with Gorilla Glue. No Girl. nails. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Watch Gregory Clues. Just watch how skillful he is. He is a professional passenger. We're talking about the passenger in the number they got 39 that one, yeah. outfit. He is a professional passenger. He chooses his ride just as certain solo riders do. Yep. And he rides only with a creme de la creme. And, and that's what I'm saying. It is really important that the, the sidecar drivers get a passenger that gives them the capability to win because it is, there's a lot more to it than what you think. And a great deal is to do with confidence. Steinhausen knows that he's got a man on there who, even with a massive impact such as they just had, gets back on it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. He's yeah. not about to bail out. Here goes Steinhausen. Along they go then, down the Bentley straight. Oh, we easy. know how quick it is. The BMW easy. flies by Roger Lovelock having a look at the inside. So York Steinhausen, Gregory Clues take the lead oh. here. I all won the grass, love locks on the grass. Yeah. Was like sh I put the commentator's curse he on He did, he just lost the front end, he kind of slid at the front there, trying to get it stopped oh. for Nelson as he went round Br Brundle, yeah. Don't let anyone tell you this is not entertaining. Terrific stuff. It's rivaling all the action we've seen. We Let's go. have a look at that. Talk us through it, James. Steinhausen goes past on the straight on power, and you look, love, look at Lovelock and Lawrence, and he seems to lose the front end about... Oh, he touched the back end. He just touched the back end of Steinhausen's house. He couldn't say that from the onboard shot. Yeah, that's it, did he? <laughs> well, nearly shot Rick out. Rick Lawrence, did, not, yeah. not used to having a rough ride like that. That's elevated Scott Laurie then up to second place. Scott Laurie and James Neve. Ben Holland then back in another podium. Bygrave there in fifth. Then it's Andy Peach, Tony Belsey. Still running well. Gary Smith and John Allen. Terrific, terrific. Laurie and Neve, they're sliding round uh, the hairpin at Montreal. And look at that, James. Look on the screen. Johan Reuterholt from the back of the group yep. up to eighth. Yep. After a massive crash yesterday, both nice. checked out OK in the medical center. Nice guy as well. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Really, really nice man. He'll be on an aeroplane back to Sweden tomorrow. Uh, his truck, his bike and everything stays here. He has committed totally to our championship. Yeah, yeah. I've got to say, if I'm giving a prize for prettiest outfit, it's that one there in the front there, Steinhausen. But it's just such a lovely looking outfit that really professionally turned out, all BMW colours. Well, it's sponsored largely by an uncle of his who runs the Ocapoco Centre in Namibia, which is a game reserve. So well, there you go. If you want to go and look at giraffes and elephants, have a word with them. <laughs> Weird sponsor. There you are, Brian Gray, the veteran, and Andy Hills, number seven. He's going well. In drown, and Shelley Smith is 170. What a fight they're having. So the only lady competitor out there holding down the third wheel on 170's outfit, Ian Drown. So that's good.
Brian Gray, the motorcycle dealer from High Wycombe, yep. with Andy Hills. One of the, uh, that, yeah, that's the outfit number seven there. He's running a Yamaha. You can see the speed block design at the bottom of the uh, outfit. Not that many engines used other than Suzuki's, actually. Well, history. we've got four Yamahas entered, of course, one of which is the Birchall's, who aren't in, but here we now have this battle to try and get Roger Lovelock and Rick Lawrence back in a podium place. They're going to be nibbling away at the back end of Ben Holland and Lee Watson on the Rymor Suzuki. So Suzuki versus Suzuki, there should be nothing in it, except we know that Roger Lovelock's bike is quick and he's good on the brakes, he's having a look, but no, Ben Holland, one of the younger competitors, one of the youngest men out there, actually, a star of the future, if not a star already. Yeah, yeah, he looks not bad from here, just at the minute. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very conservative remark, but a lovely one. <laughs> <laughs> he, lo he looks not bad from here, I think, it, yeah, <laughs> I think he'd like that. It, it'd frighten me if I was out there. crunch that we saw that pushed Barry James off has resulted, James, in an yep. investigation for yep. York Steinhausen. An, an I have to, one. I have to say I'm not surprised. Uh, no, me neither. No. The stewards will be looking at that and uh, the German was aggressive. He really, really, really meant business and he could have seriously injured Here we go, look. Here we go, we're looking at this. There, oh. and, he, and he did come straight across and he wasn't actually anywhere near past the number three outfit of... Uh, James and Lawson. No, he sideswiped him. Yeah, he did completely. Uh, uh, They're making sure they're all right each other now, yeah, and then you could brilliant. see they were really angry straight after that. And how, how did they get the brakes on? They were on the grass. That yeah. was the other thing. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't stop on the grass. So it could be that we have a very interesting outcome here. This could be the battle for second, not for third. On track, we've certainly got Steinhausen in the lead from Laurie, but uh, in third place still on the track, as we say, we make the point again that. The number 39 BMW of York Steinhausen and Gregory Clues is under investigation for that sideswipe, a massive sideswipe. <laughs> it was. <wasn't> <laughs> but you're going to have to, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to stay with it as we give it to you because if there is any investigation, it will go on long into the night. I it suspect. will, yep. There'll be a Lovelock, lot of German remonstrating. Lovelock got a really nice uh, drive out of Murray's there. It looks like he's got the power to go past Holland and Watson down the straight, has he? He's on the outside. We're wrong side, there. wrong side. Oh, wrong side, and Ben Holland using racecraft there, moved across and closed the line. Round riches they go. Now let's follow. This is sixth gear, up to top here, just nicking top, back down to third. Third, short shifting to fourth. These outfits have quick shifters just the same as the solos. Round they go. The next one will be the left-hander Palmer. Palmer. Yep. This Into is... Palmer. Big left-hander, third gear. Really fast, that buddy. Look Driving out of here. Fourth. They'll hook fifth just before they get to Agostini. And then they're there. All the way down. Second gear. Third out of there, and then driving, driving, driving. It's fantastic, that infield. I did three laps round here with young Steve Kershaw, who's running in ninth last year, and I've only just recovered. I was just going to say, I wouldn't do it again. I really wouldn't do it again. I was a guy called Bill Philp, and it frightened me. And I was racing. Oh! Oh! oh love lock top. Love lock to spin it. Spin it round. They've no lock, these things. Well, terrific stuff. This, this, he's having an eventful race, Roger Lovelock. In fact, everybody's having an eventful race. Is Bygrave going to be elevated to fourth? Are we going to see the BMW? The Andy Peach has certainly gone by. So Andy Pe if Andy Peach has gone by, then Ben Bygrave has. So the number 74 yellow helmeted pair on the build base BMW. There it is. That's number him. 74, yeah. the build base BMW ahead of Andy Peach. They will be up to fourth place. The problem and, is, do you know what he did there? He ran it in a bit wide, and it's always dirty out there. That's where all the little bits of rubber that comes off the tyres, both solo and side can collect. It's dusty also, so there's just not a lot of grip out there. James, our ambition, we in the sidecar world, is to get BSB teams running an outfit in the same colours. The first achievement we've had is with Build Base BMW. Yep. And we had a good old chat with Sean Muir today. How would that be? I remember uh, an F2 outfit running around the Isle of Man. Uh, the guy from Preston, that was a... Uh, John Holden. Uh, John Holden, Andrew Winkle, they ran uh, Relentless Colours. Yes, they Zook did. Engine. Yes, they did. He's off again. Oh, He's done... goodness me, Roger Lovelock and Rick Lawrence, cross track racing. That is not the way, he... fellas. Now, he has done some mileage on the grass, this race. <laughs> it's all gone. Let's, let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say if tyres have gone off. Yeah, yeah, Something yeah. certainly yeah. happened. But now that's giving Gary Smith the impetus. That'll elevate him further up the order. So, 
Steinhausen, our leader. Scott Laurie, James Neve in second. Then it's Ben Holland and Lee Watson. Then it's Ben Bygro. Oh, that's Lovelock again. He's just, he's, he's got back on the tarmac now. He's just picking, he's trying to find the corner that he hasn't been on the grass at, so he can have a go there. <laughs> he's got a, got a fly mo underneath this, <laughs> earning a bit of pocket money. Now, let's be serious about this, because it's a serious business. There is Steinhausen, our race leader. Oh, maybe. Penultimate lap, yeah. Our ra well, he's certainly our race leader on the track, and uh, yep. we will yet to find out, as I say, there might well be a stewards investigation on inquiry well after we've gone off the air. But, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this thrilling F1 sidecar race. There's more to come throughout the season. Oh, more grass crash. That's Mick Bleakley. Crash. That's father and son, the, the Bleakley pairing. That's the only non-LCR. That's the Windle. That's, yep. Windle really. Yamaha. Mary Sheffield. Yeah, LCR, the predominant brand, of course, but uh, Bleakley's run a Windle. They've been running quite well. They were just outside the points. Reuterholtz obviously had an incident because yeah, he's, he's dropped back to 18th. Yeah, he'd got up to about, what, 11th? It could be that Akialto, the passenger, gave him a tap because he had a tap on the head yesterday ah, okay. and was a little bit second-hand this morning. Pass fit to race, but here we have it then. The last lap flag, this time for Jörg Steinhausen and Gregory Clues as they go past the cross-plane Yamaha, the number 10 of Rod Robinson. Lapping Rod Robinson and Roy Farmer. There it is, the number 10 cross-plane Yamaha in stock form, entirely unsuited to sidecars. Yeah, just not quick yeah, enough. No, no, just hasn't got the top end as needed. You know why it hasn't got the top end? Because to run the cross-plane crank, it has to run a balancing shaft, and that takes some power. Down two, yeah. The only way they get away with it is tune them into superbike spec, and then yep. uh, everything makes it go just that little bit quicker. But we're looking at the second place, Scott Laurie, number 72, and James Neve on their Suzuki. This man travels the length and breadth of the country day in, day out. He works as a scaffolder and a building constructor. He's a big, hard man. He's got the proverbial hands like dinner plates that you were talking a about. A lot of these lads you won't mess with, I've got to say. <laughs> <laughs> but they're handy, you know, these side calendars, if ever your van breaks down or you want some welding doing on a frame or whatever, they've always got the equipment and the skills. Yeah, they have. Because a lot of them build their own machines. They're all sort of hands-on, mechanically-minded blokes. Yeah, they are. And you, you go in the paddock and you can see there's, there's no sort of team effort. It's the guy's hands-on doing yep. it himself. Absolutely. Here we are then, number 39. The BMW, Motorrad BMW of York Steinhausen and Gregory Clues. They've had a third in the a fourth in the World Championship so far. They're lying fourth after one round. They've had a runner-up spot in the German Championship. And now here they are about to take their first win in the Eastern Airways British F1 Sidecar Championship at the third round at Snetterton. Wonderful, wonderful sight for them to see. Gregory Clues will put his finger in the air, you watch. When he comes up towards the line, he'll put his finger in the air and punch the air. Kyle Young there, about to be lapped. Here we go. The checker flag ahead, the air, hand in the air, Gregory Clues and York Steinhausen. A clenched fist from the German. Bit of a cuddle for each other as well. Good. German and French pairing. Second place then over the line, Scott Laurie and James Neve. Another podium for Ben Holland and Lee Watson, so 16 more points to add to their good total. So they're moving on as well. They've got 76 points now. Well, Lovelock, gone all over the place. Not sure where he's going to finish. He's finishing <laughs> behind Gary Horsepole, but oh, no, it's not. It is, behind Gary Horsepole. There we are, eighth place for Roger Lovelock and Rick Lawrence. Then it's Steve Kershaw, number 29, and Rob Wilson. Number 90, John Clark and Stuart Graham. But there's your race winner. What the outcome of that uh, inquiry will be, we're not sure. But 90.3, nobody was near. Well, we had a 156.918, which was 0.8 outside the lap record, which was not bad at all. Steinhausen and Clues, definitely on a mission. James, I have to say, the BMW was noticeably quicker, quicker than the Yeah, and, and in actual fact, in standard form, uh, that engine comes out of an S1000 double R BMW sports bike, and it's a rapid bike, is that? All credit to BMW for working so hard at the, at the world and British superbike scene since getting into superbikes. Absolutely. They, they didn't enjoy the success early on, but they worked at it. Yep. So there it is. 
L&W, the sponsor there. Dave Walton, one of the local sponsors from Kent. Number 32, Gary Horsepole. A terrific race, fortunately, uh, without any serious incident. A fourth place and a best result for the number 74 build-based BMW of Ben Bygrave. And Paul Napton. He couldn't do it without Paul Napton, son of Ken Napton, of course. Uh, another one of the sidecar racing dynasty. Yep. So there they go, 10 laps of Snetterton in this heat, I have to say, would be testing for anyone. Well, I've enjoyed this, James. Good to have you alongside. Brilliant stuff. You're yeah, very that. knowledgeable on three wheels. Not you? really, not like you. Oh, uh, well, we do what we do, and we love it. And it's brilliant to see a race like that. Good to see all the ding-dong scraps and nobody come out of it injured. Final point for Craig Chaplow and Darren Tritton, and they've uh, had a Conrod through this weekend, so they've been burning the midnight oil as well. And talking of Craig Chaplow, there we go. So let's have a look at the results. Confirmation of that fantastic win by York Steinhausen, Greg Clues, Scott Laurie, there's your podium, Ben Holland, Lee Watson, Ben Bygrave, Napton with a BMW, Andy Peach, Tony Belsey, standing passenger, the regular man's in the Isle of Man, Gary Smith and John Allen, what a great weekend they've had. Gary Horsepole, former F2 champion, getting better by the race. Lovelock and Lawrence salvaged something with eighth. Steve Kershaw, Rob Wilson, John Clark, Stuart Graham there, picking up six points for 10th. Brian Gray, the veteran. Andy Hills, Ian Drown, Shelley Smith is the lady passenger. They get points. Ian Guy, Nick Webb, and from Ireland, Kyle Young and Guy Pawsey. Craig Chaplow, as I say, getting the final point. Then the crossplay in Yamaha, the Bleakley boys. Reuter Holt must have had a problem. Edwards and Barrett disappointed to them on the Kawasaki. And the series organizer, Roger Body and Carl Schofield, in 20th place. One lap a trip. What's that done? to the standings, well, still Roger Body will be up, <laughs> oh, sorry, Roger Lovelock will be up there with a massive 1-1-9, but they're closing him down. Ben Holland, Steinhausen moves into third, Scott Laurie consolidates his position. Barry James sadly hit the fence, but happily he's okay. The Virtuals, they'll be back at Knock Hill, maybe they can do something about those 40 points. And there you have it, Johan Reuterhel, Snetterton has been a weekend he would wish to forget, I suspect. Tim Reeves down there in 10th place, but he only competed the first one. Ben Bygrave, his fourth place, lifted him up to 11th place. Then we've got Peach, Kershaw, Smith, Gray, the Kawasaki of Edwards in 16th, and then Drown and Smithers. Shelley Smithers will be pleased tonight. Greg Lambert, he's in the Isle of Man, Chaplow, and John Holden. And we are here in Park Ferme with uh, our race winners, York Steinhausen and Gregory Clues. Um, York, I'll come to you first because we have heard that your win is under investigation by race direction um, for the collision with Barry James and Callum Lawson. Uh, we won't know the outcome at this round. We will know later on. What's your reaction to that? I'm surprised. Um, I felt the impact on the left side. Um, we were, you know, we were in front. Uh, we overtook him and um, on our line. So um, I'm surprised that there's an investigation. I'm, um, I hope they're both okay. Um, I'm quite sad because we won, but um, it's not because of the investigation. I don't mind. But uh, the damage to our bike, I'm surprised it's big, and uh, I wonder if you can get that fixed for the World Championship round. They certainly did seem okay, the pair of them, so that's one good thing. But, Greg, I'll come to you, because as the passenger, you generally get a better view of it than the driver. What was your take on the collision? No, just when, uh, we, have, when we have the little collision, we are already on the front of him, so I'm not really care. And, you know, anyway, I don't know what's happened for the results, but we have a really good race. The bike is absolutely perfect. Thank you very much to Ben W Germany for the help. And all our sponsors, they do a great, great job this weekend. And I can't wait the next race. I have to ask you, what do you make of the Snetterton 300 in a sidecar? Good circuit for this? Took a while for me to learn it. Some tricky, tricky uh, turns in there. But uh, yeah, quite like it. Uh, it was a great event. I'm pleased, you know, for all the spectators who came and um, stayed for the sidecar race, the last race of the day. I'm very happy about that. So we wait for the result. Was it difficult, Greg, finding the grip out there for him? 
Yeah, no, um, for this race, we are, we are, I'm really happy because uh, the grip with the tire is absolutely fine on this race. I think we, we find a good setting for the bike and that we have no problem with tire at this race now. OK, guys, congratulations on the win. We will find out what race direction make of it. We'll let it go to the podium. Very well done, York. Cheers, yeah, thank you. Very well done, Greg. Thank you very much. You can go to the podium now. So the guys are going off to the podium and, uh, well, let's hand back to Barry Nutley, who will take us through the podium celebrations. Well... Brilliant stuff to have the Eastern Airways sidecars back on the big stage with British superbikes. Uh, the climate is right. You can see everybody's improved their image. You can see they've raised their game. A uh, little bit of... Uh, that's obviously a collision. Somebody's had a bit of a... That's Jay, James Neve has had a bit of a collision, banged his face on the way round, or bottom of his chin, possibly. So that shows you just how hard these sidecar passengers are. James Neve heading from here with his driver to the Isle of Man. There you have the third place of the podium, Ben Holland and Lee Watson. Runners up on the podium, James Neve and his driver, Scott Laurie. But so good to have the racing at this level on a great circuit like Snetterton. And presenting the awards will be Dave Walton. He is one of the sponsors, L&W. Civil contractor, a long-time supporter of the F1 sidecar scene. Happy to hand over the awards and uh, the first time on a podium in the UK for Jörg Steinhausen and Greg Clues. Well, Scott Laurie's done himself a power of good with that runner-up spot. Uh, hopefully James Neve, the passenger. Yeah, it is a bit of a bang on the nose he's had, but he'll be OK. And there, Gregory Clues smiling from ear to ear. The man who's just given him the trophy will actually become his father-in-law in France in September because Gregory Clues is marrying Donna Walton Dave Walton's daughter. So we say it's a family business, these sidecars, and so is drinking champagne. <laughs> and wonderful, wonderful sights here. I hope you enjoyed the F1 sidecars here from Snetterton. From me, Barry Nutley, thank you for listening to me. Cheers. Talk again.